Hello everybody. So today we have an interesting topic about uh, Apple Mac Air. Okay, so Apple product uh, is so popular and people like to use them. Uh, honest speaking, I'm not an Apple fan, but uh, I do have uh, some customer. They bring their Apple product to me, and uh, one interesting thing, one customer has their Apple. Mac Air and got uh, uh, some problem. I will describe the problem to you. So this is the smart arrow in App OS X. Okay. So customer said um, it's running everything running okay. Okay. Except he couldn't do upgrade. Second, he couldn't do internet recovery. Okay. So anytime he's trying to the second and third option, then it's give him the smart error message, okay. And uh, I did do some search on the internet. I saw people having those uh, troubles, and uh, some people also talking about this formatting refresh okay uh, wipe the drive blah blah and uh, some people has a similar problem okay only when they attempt to upgrade so they got this trouble okay and uh, I look at this uh, uh, apparently this uh, smart error is uh, talking about the hard drive and uh, in uh, Apple Mac Air I can see th it's using the SSD drive similar to this. This is a PCIe based uh, SSD. So this one, and okay, uh, and uh, it's not cheap. Uh, in Canada dollar is uh, almost three hundred dollars for two five six gig uh, memory. Okay, so then. What about okay? So, from my experience, people even with the smart area, he some some user they use this laptop keep using this laptop for three years without losing anything, and. Uh, everything is running as I said everything running well so once they hit these two uh, options then they couldn't move forward okay so basically the best option for sure you need to replace your hard drive you need to replace your hard drive but what about if your you said okay my notebook is already five years old and uh, I don't want to do any new purchase or new repair I don't want to spend three hundred dollars and spend another one hundred dollars for a technician to install it okay so what you what what you can do is um, I will give you some options if you like and uh, but after you finish this you need to make sure you you will have two copies of your data at least two copies or you, you can use iCloud iCloud or Google Drive or OneDrive right to sync your data okay so you take your risk take your own risk so one step one what you need to do is you need use a bootable USB okay USB uh, with PE and some tools okay so I I cannot um, like reproduce all my procedures I just you give you some hint okay so you need a wipe 
wipe off can't joy okay so three plug in your blank USB drive but uh, this time you need to uh, make sure size is equals your building building drive okay okay so at least it's bigger okay so this is uh, your option four then use recover okay so use this to do internet internet recover but you should to your USB drive okay so actually at this moment you are using two USB one is the bootable USB Windows PE okay okay second you you need a mm, blank USB drive big size for example 500 okay so during this I don't know um, people might have some trouble to do the internet recovery I do have another video talk about internet recovery so you need to do some formatting partition okay so make sure your partition when you partition your uh, drive if it's bigger so your partition don't your partition should should be so your partition partition part, partition should be less uh, less than building drive okay so for example 250 uh, gig if you have a 260 gig so this is a partition on USB drive okay so at this moment then you will be able so you should be able to you will be able to success on USB drive okay so after you successfully installed the Mac OS X on USB drive so basically you you should be able to boot into the system and use the system as it is okay but at this moment you would like to move forward for sure because USB drive usually is quite slow so move forward then you need to uh, use uh, hold the uh, option key and uh, plug both USB so both USB I mean I'm mean, talk about the one is a PE one is a OS X okay so you have two system two USB okay so hold the option key and uh, pick up choose uh, PE to put okay so but your PE I need uh, I have a uh, requirement on your PE so your must have disk clone tool okay so then MP use the disk tool to format to partition your 
built-in drive okay format partition are built in, in drive with uh, exact size as the USB partition that contains OS X okay so then you have two partition ready one is a built-in drive partition and uh, one is on USB drive partition okay those two partitions need to be exactly the same so then 12 you clone uh, clone USB to built-in drive so after this you should be able to clone your USB partition to the built-in drive and then done you finish your job okay so this whole process if you first time to do it it might uh, spend you four hours eight hours who knows but this is for fun okay um, people will say okay uh, even if I successfully recover the system to the built-in drive but what about upgrade okay upgrade so actually upgrade um, this one is just restored very original OS so probably it's very legacy so actually before you clone here actually you sh here this one once you successfully installed OS X on your USB drive here you have an option okay boot OS X okay and upgrade to so this is the option right so but uh, usually people is so after you install on USB so boot into USB and upgrade to latest okay after that once you Chrome your partition to the built-in drive so you your built-in drive will be the latest one okay and uh, so keep so there's a challenge for next upgrade okay will be challenge okay because next uh, upgrade you already installed a lot of applications in the built-in drive but your USB drive is still brand new right new system and this one a lot of apps plus data so even though so for next upgrade you will face in challenge again because of this okay because of this but at least I will tell you you can uh, make your legacy laptop Mac MacBook Pro Mac Air maybe last another two three years who knows without spending three hundred dollars okay thanks for watching